Good evening to my dear lecturer, Professor Noor Diana. I'm Yuki Suri Kumarasingam going to explain about my reflection slide. My metric number is MPP 231009. Bitmaps are blocks of colors assembled in a grid format. Vectors are shapes and colors built on mathematical formula. How to know the different sources of the images of vector and bitmap? Vector's image will be clearer when we enlarge it, whereas bitmap image will break. You can see if you uh, enlarge an image, it will go into boxes. This is because in bitmap, pixels are grouped in a grid to create bitmap images. Every pixel contributes to the overall image and holds information about colors. Whereas, vector graphic generate shapes such as polygons, curves, and lines using mathematical equation. They can be scaled infinitely without sacrificing quality because they are resolution independent. As you can see, the image here, bitmap versus vector. Vector formats include SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics, AI, Adobe Illustrator, EPS, encapsulated post -trip. So which one do I prefer? Of course, I prefer vector graphic compared to bitmap images in Photoshop. But that is one consequence. So what do I learn? From my reflection. In order to make a nice media design, whether in Photoshop or any other animation software, you need to know first of all, you need to be aware what is vector and what is bitmap images so that you will know which type of vector or bitmap that suits your presentation. If you are an educator, you want to do infographic or you want to do any presentation slide, vector would be enough. But if you want to do banners, maybe you need bitmap images. If you see here, vector graphics can be scaled to any size without loss of quality. Why do I choose this? Okay, an illustration that needs icons to be resized for different purposes. Second, is easy to edit and modify. Thirdly, you can manipulate individual elements, change colors and adjust shapes without losing quality. Smaller file sizes compared to high resolution bitmap images, common use cases, logos and branding, high cost illustration infographic. For a well rounded understanding of a graphic design, a balanced approach that includes learning both vector and bitmap in graphics is often beneficial. This allows individuals to gain proficiency in creating scalable and versatile designs. Vector, which also mastering the art of working with detailed images and photographs, such as bitmap. The choice may also depend on specific career goals. For example, those interested in a web design may might lean more towards vector graphics, while those focusing on digital art or photography may emphasize bitmap graphics. Thank you.